gain staging, getting the levels right is actually the first stage of mixing. It's the most important one by far, but no one ever really speaks about it. Usually people like to speak about compression, EQing, reverb and these kind of things, which are also important. But first of all, you need to get the levels right of all of the elements. That's the first step. If you get that right, everything else will be a whole lot easier. Never gonna walk away, but leave you with the mess you made. Yesterday evening was a whole lot of fun. Only downside is whenever I'm in this club, I get all drinks for free, and there's no way I can say no to free gin tonics. So just a minor hangover, nothing that really stops me from going to the studio. I finally got it. This is the contract from Aaron, and with this contract, I'm finally able to work on the final warning and let it go track. And I got another really important letter, but I can't really tell you anything about it now. So let me check both of them, especially the contract if everything is all right with it. To be really honest, there are at least six mistakes in this contract that are all putting me in a disadvantage. But I don't really want to wait anymore. And this is also really weird that it's on the back side. But yes, I don't really want to wait anymore, so I'm signing it. The things are not big things, and I just want to be able to work on the tracks. I never know the date. 6th of April. Now, with this contract, I'm allowed to use um, Aaron's vocals in my music. I got all of the rights. He's getting a share for it. Copyright is split three ways. So there's nothing anymore standing in the way of working on these tracks. I have here in front of me the entire project of the final warning track. You saw how we wrote the track together with the singer and songwriter. This was your final warning. Sorry. Don't act like you're the first to know. I already showed you how I edited the vocals with Nectar. It's really cool. I, I love how it's built up. You have everything here you need to edit vocals and today is actually the big day of again staging this entire project the sound design is is also already done i did it while we um while we recorded the track the project has right now 34 individual tracks that all need to be balanced i always start with the kick the kick is my main point in the track it makes totally sense for electronic music I try not to change the level of the kick because whenever I change the level of the kick I have to change everything else. So I set it to a value. I have one value that I figured out that is pretty good so that I have enough room to make things louder than the kick and also not have the entire track too loud so that it starts clipping or individual channels start clipping. So let me just solo the kick right here in the main part of the track. So as you can see, I've set the kick so that I have minus 4 dB of headroom. This way the kick is really nice and loud in the mix and where it needs to be. And I still have a little bit of headroom if I need to raise the kick and I still have plenty of space to lower it. Um, usually it makes more sense to have everything a little bit quieter so it doesn't clip than having everything a little bit too loud. So just try and make sure you have enough headroom. The second I've set the kick I just solo the next element, usually the bass and sub bass. So I have the kick running together with the bass and I try to adjust it to the kick. Which sounds super easy and it is actually super easy. But especially as a beginner or if you're working in a room that isn't acoustically treated, most people tend to have the bass too loud. So if you're not sure about the level of the bass, keep it a little lower than you might think is right. And the rest of it and this entire gain staging topic is really down to experience. The more often you do this entire process, the better you will get, the easier it will be for you. But Basically, it's super easy. You just listen to it and, and try to figure out if the new element that you add to the others is too loud or too quiet. If you don't feel comfortable setting the levels by ear, you could also use an analyzer and use it as a an help or as a guidance. But 
never ever really mix just by looking at the analyzer but it can help you to find things that are just sticking out way too much of the mix because if you look now onto the analyzer you can see at the moment the kick the top kick the two bases the very low one and the higher one and the main city they all sound pretty good you will also be able to see in the span that none of them is really sticking out And now it's really just about adding the other elements and check if they are too loud or too quiet. If they're too loud, lower them. If they're too quiet, raise them. If there are two elements clashing, you can either separate them in the space, making one of them wide and keep one of them more mono. You can try to separate them with a cueing, but I usually try to solve it first just with the gain staging. If, if it doesn't work with the gain staging, I try out the other options if they also don't work. I know I have to change something in the arrangement because if two things clash, the easiest way to make them not clash anymore is just not play them at the same time. So let me really quick go through all of the elements and adjust the levels and then I will continue with a couple of tips and tricks how to get the gain staging right. Take me to the promised land This was your final warning Don't act like you're the last to know so I'm done with the rough gain staging. It's usually a process that takes a couple of days and I like to listen to it at home and then go back to the project and adjust the things even further. It's it's kind of like, I don't know, if you fill up your cacao box and you shake it to get it even at the top, that's kind of what gain staging is like. It's, it's at the beginning very uneven. You shake it a little, it gets a bit more even and you have to continue and do it and you can shake it forever to try to make it as even as possible which will never happen so at a certain point you have to decide that it's enough and i think also a mix that is like too balanced too too normal sounding without anything having at least like an emphasis not like sticking out of the mix but having like like a concentration on on a certain main element a mix can sound quite boring so it's really like trying to hit the right point to finish the track and stop working on it. I'm still far away from that point, but it will be hopefully this week. For example, I still have to correct all of the vocals. I edited them, but I still need to get rid of clicks, um, like, like certain sounds that are in the mouth. Also line them up so that the doubles are really doubles and not separated. Correcting the pitch at some points and also correcting the, the rhythm, the tempo, it needs to be quantized. To be honest, I was looking forward to keep on working on the track for this entire day, but now I have some urgent business things that I have to take care of. So we'll continue with this track tomorrow. You had the chance to save her, be her savior. Now leave her alone. To be honest, I'm still tired from yesterday's party. Tonight is another one. It's just an after work party. Just for half an hour saying hi to two or three friends and then back home. Hopefully, that's at least our plan. Let's see if I can stick to it. Usually I can't, but maybe this time. Who knows? That's good? Yeah. Hi, Tom. Hello. You know these two guys. They're Good DJs. And they have the best view of all of the DJs. Don't act like you're the last to know. You had the chance to save her, be her savior, now leave her. Don't, don't, don't act like oh, Mazabi nuts. Really good. They just made the mistake to leave it here with me. I actually didn't want to drink. But these nuts were made to make you thirsty, so why not? This was a whole lot of fun, now just straight back home, catching up on sleep. 
these parties are of course always fun, but to some extent it's also work. That's kind of what you have to do as a DJ producer. Just connect with the people, be outside, be present. It's extremely important. How do I start this car? Thank you. 